Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being into addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may say that's a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulation, skin care, if you have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team, we'd love to have you aboard. Call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a business, make some money, help spread the word, and change lives, improve lives, all while you're earning a living or earning some spare change if you like. You can make as much or as little as you like. Call the phone team. They can give you the scoop at 866-735-2470. Or you can head over to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. And for you folks who are uh, looking for some high-end skin health products to create changes in your skin, if you're not happy with your skin care now, if you want to check out our Truth Treatment products, our Truth 5% Retinol Gel, made with retinol as well as 5% retinol, that's a bunch of retinol folks, as well as vitamin C, no preservatives, no fragrances, no fillers, no wax, no oil, no water, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health formulations. Head over to truthtreatments.com and check out all our Truth Treatments, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, as well as our Truth 5% Retinol Gel. Okay. Our number today, 844-236-6010. We'll get to your calls at the bottom of the hour, as we always do. We're talking the ketogenic diet, the high-fat, lose-fat diet, the high-fat, improve athletic performance diet, the high-fat, improve heart health, brain health, fight cancer diet. It's so amazing to me, given all the, all the demonization of fat that we've had to listen to for the last 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. It's so amazing to me that, as it turns out, you eat fat and you lose weight. You eat fat and you feel better. You eat fat and you fight cancer. You eat fat and you, and you uh, reduce the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease and, and you improve heart health and blood pressure and blood sugar as well. And you just feel better when you eat fat. The ketogenic diet is a feel-good diet. It's a calm-the-body-down diet. Yesterday we left off talking about fiber. We're going to talk about fiber for a few more days. Fiber plays a very important role if you're going to go ketogenic for a couple of reasons. Number one, fiber helps mop up blood fats, helps mop up cholesterol out of the blood. Fiber is a, a great non-toxic way to lower blood cholesterol and lower blood fats, especially a very fascinating kind of fiber called beta-glucan. Now, there's three main classes of fiber, soluble fiber, insoluble fiber, and something they're now calling resistant fiber. We're going to talk about that later on. Beta-glucan represents a type of soluble fiber, meaning it dissolves in water. And this stuff is really, really fascinating stuff. It's a very simple molecule. It's a, it's a large molecule, but it's made up of a bunch of repeating units. It's uh, repeating units of glucose or sugar, simple sugar. 
So you get a little chunk of glucose and it just gets strung together in a long chain called a glucan. Glucans are just long chains of simple sugars. Beta glucan is a type of glucan. The beta refers to a little tweak that's in the, in the chain. But basically, it's just a long chain of glucose. And considering that's all it is, it's pretty amazing that it has all of these wonderful, wonderful benefits. Beta-glucan is one of the most common substances found in nature. In fact, it, it may be the most common organic molecule in the natural world, at least in its, as a form of cellulose. Cellulose, I believe, is the, the most common organic mo molecule in the world, and beta-glucan is a type of cellulose. It's made by all plant cells. It's made by all fungal cells, yeast cells. It's also found in seaweeds. In fact, the beta-glucan content of seaweeds at least partially account for seaweeds' tremendous, tremendous, tremendous health benefits. Gram for gram, there's nothing on planet Earth that's got more nutritional and health benefits than plain old seaweed and algae. Beta-glucan has, over the last 20 or 30 years, rightly developed a, quite a reputation as a supplement. That's because of its, all of its multiple benefits. There has been special consideration paid to its ability to reduce blood fats as well as support the immune system. Food manufacturers are actually adding it or thinking about adding it to pastas and other carbohydrate types of foods that can, that can uh, uh, tolerate a certain amount of added fiber to them. We're going to talk about the effects of beta-glucan on blood fats and cholesterol, as well as its benefits when it comes to obesity and weight loss and diabetes and metabolic syndrome. We're going to talk at length about that here in the coming days. That's, isn't that amazing? You've got something that's basically inert. It's just a string of fiber, and yet it has all of these incredible, incredible benefits. And we'll talk about weight loss benefits and diabetes benefits and metabolic syndrome benefits, that is benefits for cardiovascular health, for blood pressure, uh, for uh, 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 liver disease, for, uh, for fatty liver disease. We'll talk about that here in the coming days. But for now, I want to finish up what I think is the most notable role for beta-glucan, and that is in supporting the body's defensive system, supporting the body's immune system. This is, this is really where beta-glucan shines when it comes... Uh, when it comes to helping fight cancer and uh, support the immunity. Its anti-cancer benefits in particular have been renowned for millennia, for thousands of years, even though ancient medical practitioners who were using beta-glucan didn't realize they were using beta-glucan. They thought they were just using mushrooms. And mushrooms have a long tradition of being used as an immune booster, an anti-cancer nutrient or anti-cancer food. And there are lots of compounds in mushrooms, lots of immune-boosting compounds, but one of the most important is the beta-glucan. And I believe it, it very likely is the beta-glucan that's doing the heavy lifting when it comes to mushrooms and funguses' ability to help fight cancer. Scientists call beta-glucan a biologic response modifier, or a BRM. That's basically a way of saying the stuff works. It modifies or modulates the biologic response. In the skincare world, biologic response mod modifiers have been gaining a, a steadily gaining a reputation as being very important. And as we said yesterday, beta glucan plays a really important role when it comes to skin, uh, the health of the skin. Uh, beta glucan is said to be a normalizing chemical. You may remember that when we were talking about vitamin A, we also said vitamin A is a normalizing molecule. What does that mean, normalizing? Well, uh, a normalizing molecule is intelligent. It knows whether something in the body needs to be increased or stimulated or activated, or on the other hand, it knows whether it needs to be suppressed. It has a certain intelligence to it. Unlike pharmaceuticals, unlike drugs, which are more like robots or automatons that can just do one thing, normalizing molecules, and this includes most nutritional substances, have an intelligence. They know whether something needs to be raised or lowered, and beta-glucan is a, a classic example of an intelligent, normalizing, modulating nutritional supplement. It knows whether to pull the ups down or yank the downs up. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The 
right side, I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity, longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions. If you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products or longevity products, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and also uh, benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase skin health, uh, longevity products off the websites as well, and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites. And uh, also want to encourage you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're dealing with accelerated aging of the skin, if you have acne blemishes, and by the way, speaking of acne, our, uh, a lot of you guys have been sending me letters about my blemish repair complex acne supplement. That should be out hopefully in the next week or two. Uh, you'll see, you can uh, be able to purchase that off of truthtreatments.com as well as brightsidehealthproducts.com. That's my blemish repair complex made with uh, NAC and selenium and vitamin B5 and zinc. I just got tired of having to tell everybody to buy these individual supplements. So if you, you don't want to go into the health food store and buy NAC and buy zinc and buy selenium and buy chromium and buy the B complex and buy vitamin B5, we put it all together for you in our blemish repair complex. And that will be out hopefully in the next week or two. Keep listening to this program and you'll hear... Uh, we'll let you know when you can start purchasing, purchasing that off of truthtreatments.com and probably off of brightsidehealthproducts.com. Okay, so continuing with beta-glucan, this absolutely fascinating form of fiber that's got tremendous health benefits. It's a normalizing chemical. It knows whether the immune system needs to be suppressed or quieted down or it knows or, or whether the immune system needs to be stimulated. Like many nutrients, this, this normalizing property is, a, is a, a factor that's linked to the fact that uh, it, nutrients are intelligent. Drugs are not intelligent. Drugs are robots. They're automatons. On the other hand, nutrients are human. They're an animal. They're intelligent. They're flexible. They know what to do and when to do it. And this accounts for the tremendous, tremendous non-toxicity of beta-glucan. Given the fact that this stuff is so powerful as an immune stimulant, as a wound healer, and, and yes, it is a wound healer, very important for, the, for, for skin health. It's sun protective. It lowers blood fats. It has positive health benefits when it comes to blood sugar and diabetes, in addition to helping lower blood fats and cholesterol. And it's completely non-toxic. And you don't need to go to a doctor to get it. You don't need to interface with the medical model to get it. That is astounding, and it is why, according to the website CancerTutor.com, beta-glucan is, quote, the most studied natural immunomodulator on Earth, unquote. And as we spoke yesterday, some of the most notable benefits for beta-glucan come to, when it, uh, come to uh, uh, involve the skin. And I've been working with beta-glucan for a long time when it comes to skin health. I first read about it and heard about it back in the 1990s. There was a company in Texas that had, was advertising or marketing a form of beta-glucan that had come from yeast. It was, back then it was proprietary. They wanted some ridiculous amount of money to license their yeast beta-glucan. So I started using beta-glucan in my skin health products that I got from oats, that I derived from grains. And I still got great benefits. It's true that yeast beta-glucan, at least according to the literature, has a little bit more skin health benefits than regular beta-glucan, but really, in my experience, any beta-glucan is going to provide you with skin health benefits. I started adding it to many of my skin health and uh, skin health products, many of my skin health formulations in my compounding pharmacy, and I was always having to explain what beta-glucan was and why beta-glucan worked. Today, it, the cat is out of the bag. And there's lots of skin health products that are leveraging the power of beta-glucan. And it goes to show you what can happen in 20 or 25 years. In 1990, nobody knew what beta-glucan was. Today, if you're in the skincare business, everybody knows what, what beta-glucan can do for the skin. And for good reason. The stuff is amazing for skin health. It's cheap, and it's super effective, and it's non-toxic, and it's completely natural. 
beta-glucan beta is great for all, really for every, anything that has to do with skin health, but it really, really shines when it comes to wound healing. And there's a lot of literature that talks about using beta-glucan for healing wounds. I talked to a guy, uh, actually I've been texting a guy who's from Canada, I don't know if he's listening, Lauren from Canada, uh, and I, I talked to him a few times and uh, a couple weeks ago last, was the last time I spoke to him, and uh, Lauren had this horrible skin condition that he thought was eczema. He'd been treating it for, um, for years with steroid creams, and a couple of days later, a couple of days ago, or actually about a week ago now, uh, he sent me a text and said, I've been admitted to the hospital for my skin condition. It just exploded. It got worse all of a sudden. This poor guy, he'd been dealing with eczema for, I think, decades, at least many years. I've been using steroid creams, and it was kind of keeping, a, keeping the symptoms at bay. And then I get a text from him, or I, I think it was, yeah, I get a text from him, and uh, he says, oh, my God, Ben, I've been admitted to the hospital. My eczema has just exploded. It got really, really bad. And I said, Lauren, send me some pictures. So he sends me some pictures. I look at the pictures, and, and he wasn't kidding. That looked like the worst case of eczema I'd ever seen. Well, come to find out, it was an eczema. I get a text from Lauren this morning. He says, uh, you'll never, you're not going to believe this. Uh, he doesn't know what I've heard because I'll believe anything these days. Uh, after being in the healthcare business for 30 years, I, I'm not surprised by anything. Anyway, Lauren says, you're not going to believe this, but my condition was not even eczema. <laughs> he says, uh, it's a, uh, a special condition. It's called TSW or RSS, also known as Topical Steroid Withdrawal Syndrome, or red skin syndrome. And this is a condition where you stop taking steroids and, and your skin just completely freaks out. And it only occurs if you've been using steroids for a long period of time. It's a rebound condition. It's almost like you've been pushing the immune reaction down like you would push down a mouse trap. And you push it and you push it and you push it with your steroid cream so you don't see that you got the symptoms. But what's happening biochemically is your immune system is kind of like a mousetrap and you're pushing the spring down on the mousetrap with your hand, your hand being the steroid cream. And then you stop using the steroid cream, you remove your hand, and the mousetrap springs back up and you get this terrible, what they call in the world of health, rebound condition. And terrible is not the word. I mean, this guy was in the hospital. It was so bad. He says here... Uh, Hi, Ben. I finally have a correct diagnosis. I have topical steroid withdrawal syndrome slash red skin syndrome. It's not eczema. Well, yes, it is eczema. It's just an incredibly advanced form of it, Lauren. And I'm, I'll tell you what I mean here in a moment. I'm continue with this text here. It's steroid-induced dermatitis. That is a, a rash that's caused by steroids. Not really. It's a rash that's caused by the withdrawal of steroids. Not surprisingly, TSW slash, this is Lauren writing, not surprisingly, TSW slash RSS is caused by the very drug that's supposed to heal this inflammation. How do you like that? It could take one to four years to detox out of the body. Well, I'm not buying that, and I'll tell you what I mean here in a minute. Can't accept the length, he, he's not happy about this, obviously. He says, I can't accept that length to detox. I can barely get through the day as it is. My challenge is to find a way to shorten the detox time. I'm starting with nutrition. Well, I'll tell you what. If you stop taking your steroid cream and you get a rebound condition, that doesn't mean the steroid caused the problem. You still have an immune problem. Yes, the steroid made it worse because you've been artificially suppressing the symptoms, but the problem is still being caused by the same thing. Not the steroid cream, the underlying immune condition. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after the week. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang on, we'll get to you. Uh, if you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you when we uh, just got a couple more things I want to say about uh, beta-glucan and topical steroids. Uh, let's see here. So I talked to this guy, Lauren, a couple weeks ago uh, from Canada, and he had eczema. He wanted some help with it. Uh, we were working back and forth. We were talking back and forth, and then he calls me. Uh, I can't remember if he called me or texted me, but he, in any case, he communicated with me. He said, oh, my God, Ben, you're not going to believe it. I'm in the hospital. I've got the worst case of eczema ever. I told him to send me a picture. He sends me pictures, and, and he was right. It was the worst case of I'm looking at these pictures right now. It was, it was one of the worst cases of eczema I'd ever seen. It was blistered and pussy, and, and uh, uh, it, just, it didn't quite look like eczema. Uh, he also said to me, by the way, he suffers from severe fatigue and back pain, and basically he's a... You know, he's got a lot of problems. Anyway, he texts me uh, a couple days after we started talking. He said he's got fever. He's been admitted to the hospital, urgent care. He's being pumped full of antibiotics. Oh, great. 
uh, I don't know, maybe he needed the antibiotics. In any case, he texted me this morning. He said he's been diagnosed with steroid withdrawal syndrome. Now, this is a, not an uncommon problem, unfortunately, because over the last 50 years, we've become, as a culture, completely addicted to the idea of using steroids internally as well as topically for any immune system reaction we have. And this isn't necessarily our fault, and it's really not even the medical model's fault, although they should know better. The stuff works. Steroids work. They suppress the immune system. They suppress inflammation. They get rid of pain, and they get rid of symptoms. And it's understandable why, if you don't understand how the immune system works, and you don't understand how the body works, which doctors should, uh, it makes sense that you just keep using these things. However, what happens, at least in the case of topical steroids, is eventually... Uh, uh, you're going to have to stop using the steroid. And when you stop using the steroid, you get a rebound condition. Or if you, you're you forced to keep using the steroid because if you stop using the steroid, you get this rebound condition. That's called steroid addiction. And steroid withdrawal and steroid addiction affect a lot of people. And this is what my friend Lauren was dealing with. Now, if you, this is you, there's a couple things you want to recognize. You still, this is the most important thing, just because you use the drug, just because you use the steroid, doesn't mean you got rid of the problem. And now you take the, get rid of, you stop using the steroid, the problem is still there. But because your immune system has been artificially suppressed for so long, now it is super duper jumpy. It's super hypersensitive. And this is what accounts for the symptoms of this withdrawal syndrome. Your immune system is super, super, super sensitized. And now if you would have had an immune reaction that was maybe on a scale of 1 to 10 or 4 or 5, now you have one that's a 9 or a 10. But here's the key point. Here's the take-home message. You still have the same problem that you had before you started using the drug, albeit it's much more dramatic. It's caused by the same problem. So for my friend Lauren, he's got to do everything we all have to do if we're dealing with dermatitis or eczema. And that is number one, recognize that dermatitis and eczema are the manifestation of a defensive, i.e. immune response. Let me say that again, okay? Dermatitis and eczema, for that matter psoriasis, are the manifestations of a defensive response, an immune response. That's why immune drugs work. That's why they give you immune suppressant drugs. If you're taking an immune suppressant drug or applying an immune suppressant topical, that is telling you your problem is a defensive response. The key word here, response. That means your body's responding to something. If your body is responding to something in a dysfunctional fashion, the intelligent, that is not the doctor strategy, the intelligent strategy, not the medical strategy, the common sense strategy, not the medical model strategy, is to figure out what your body's responding to. If you have a reaction, i.e. response, that means there's an action. We gotta figure out what the action is. So Lauren has gotta calm down that immune system by first and foremost, stop to, uh, uh, stopping the uh, entrance of anything into the blood via food. This is the most likely suspect when it comes to skin immune problems. So Lauren has to stop eating for two or three days. And then when he eats, he has to start noticing what foods make him uh, make his symptoms flare up and give him digestive symptomology. It would help if he knew or if he knows uh, what digestive symptoms he has. And if he already knows he has food problems, that helps. But even if you don't, hit the reset button. Fast for a couple of days, two or three days, do a Swero V cleanse, half a bottle of Swero V every hour, and then uh, do it for two or three days. And then when you start eating again, keep very, pay very close attention, keep notes, do a food journal, link your symptoms to specific foods and then eliminate those foods. Secondly, start to focus on nutrients that help support the digestive system, especially good bacteria. Now, poor Lauren has been pumped with antibiotics, so he's going to have a a, a real issue with his digestive system. If he already had an issue, it's going to be much worse. So he's, it becomes extra important if they've given you antibiotics to make sure you're using your nightly essence, eating fermented foods, staying away from chlorinated water, staying away from food-based antibiotics, dairy and, and fish and meat antibiotics, using vegetable juices and fiber to help support digestive health. And then thirdly, when it comes to eczema and psoriasis and dermatitis, Understand the relationship between good fats and fatty vitamins and skin health. And a lot of times when we're not digesting our food, we got problems with fats. 
If you don't uh, ha have a dysbiosis, that is messed up gut bacteria or irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease, one of the most Im important ways this shows up is, 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 is as fat malabsorption. That means you're going to suffer. You're going to be dealing with vitamin A deficiencies and vitamin D deficiencies, both of which are incredibly important for the skin. You'll probably be dealing with a zinc deficiency. Zinc requires a fully functional fat metabol metabolizing system for its absorption. You're probably going to be dealing with omega-3 and omega-6 deficiencies. So. Make sure you're supplementing with vitamin A, 20,000 IU. Make sure you're using uh, vitamin D from fish oil or also in supplements and especially from the sun. The best form of vitamin D comes from the sun. Make sure you're supplementing with your omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids from Longevity's uh, uh, EFAs and EFA pluses. Make sure you're using avocados and fish oil, or I'm sorry, avocados and fatty fish and eggs and dairy which contain omega fatty acids. And then absolutely positively use your ultimate enzymes with your fats and bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts with your fats, lecithin granules with your fats, apple cider vinegar, all of which can help support the absorption of fats and fatty vitamins. So you got, uh, if you're dealing with uh, eczema or psoriasis or, or a dermatitis, or you're dealing with topical steroid withdrawal issues, which is like uh, a uh, extreme version of eczema, what you want to do is you want to A, focus on food triggers and eliminate them. B, use digestive supplements that support the digestive system, especially probiotics. And uh, C, make sure you're using fats, essential fatty acids, fatty vitamins, as well as key minerals like zinc and selenium also, and using them with digestive support, digestive enzymes, bile salts, lecithin, and apple cider vinegar as well. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Jim in Michigan. Good morning, Jim. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Ben. Real good, thank you. I always enjoy your program. Thank you. I appreciate that. What's up? Part, I have a two-part question. Okay. Uh, should I wait until I a break? Uh, yeah, hang on. we got to take a break. Uh, don't go away, Jim. And also, if you're on hold, you hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Jim in Michigan. Continue, my friend. Yeah, thanks. And my sister's been uh, diagnosed with Parkinson's. Uh, what can we do there? And the second Lots. part is, what what should she avoid when dealing with a regular uh, medical practitioner? That hmm. doesn't think about what you're talking about. What you should avoid with a medical practitioner is the God effect. <laughs> You know what I mean? When I say the God effect, that's where the medical practitioner is God and we are the supplicant. That's what you avoid. Oh, I, you, I've dealt with the medical medical guys, yep. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't let them get away with the God effect. But in order to do that, you have to come equipped with information and knowledge. And not just information you got on the Internet, but understanding of what's happening in your body. And it's not that complicated. I'll tell you what I mean here when, I, when it comes to Parkinson's disease in a second. But that's the first thing I would tell you as somebody who's been in the healthcare business now for 30 years. Don't be intimidated. You understand what I'm saying? Because we go in there and we feel like because we're just some ignorant layperson and they're the, the medical deity that we just have to sit there and, and listen and, and, and take whatever information they give us. Not true. There are dumb medical professionals, there are smart medical professionals, there are medical professionals in the middle, there are medical professionals who don't know anything, there are medical professionals who are charlatans, there are, you know, they're like any business. And I'm not saying they're all bad, but it's just like any business. You don't, you don't trust everything your plumber tells you, why would you trust everything your medical professional tells you? So don't go in there, when you go into a medical, have a medical interaction or an interaction with a medical, uh, medical model or representative of the medical model, Come equipped with understanding of how your body works. Not You don't need any science. We don't really talk a lot of science here on this program. It's just about understanding the body like a, like a, a machine. Uh, go in there equipped or, or armed with information about your body and don't be intimidated. That's the most important thing I would tell you. And never hesitate to get another opinion. 
and, and never have a part of your body taken out or get put on a poison drug without getting a lot of a lot a lot of information especially when it comes to surgical procedures secondly as far as parkinson's goes parkinson's disease is a degenerative condition of the brain all right it doesn't matter from a reversal perspective from a healing perspective from a recovery perspective it doesn't matter that the degeneration is in the substantia nigra, which is a part of the brain, which is just Latin for black matter. It doesn't matter that it's in this movement control area in the brain from a reversal perspective. It matters from a symptom perspective, obviously. But you know what? If it was a few millimeters to the left, it would affect the prefrontal cortex, this degenerative condition, and you'd have dementia. You know what I'm saying? It, it, the fact is it happens to be in that area, but that doesn't make it, in, the fact that it's in that area doesn't, is not relevant from, healing, from a healing perspective. It, what matters is, is that it's degenerating. If it was a few inches over, you'd have a, uh, Alzheimer's disease. And by the way, Parkinson's disease comes associated with dementia. There's something called Parkinson's dementia. So what you're dealing with is a degeneration of the brain nothing more nothing less and so when a part of the body degenerates what do you do well first of all you figure out what is getting into the system that's causing this kind of inflammatory degenerative response there's there's two directions you approach uh, uh, degeneration from number one what is missing and number two what's what's getting in what is the bad stuff that's getting in what is the good stuff that isn't the bad stuff that's, get, that's getting in is almost going to always involve food so what you do with Parkinson's or with dementia or really any degenerative condition is you hit the reset button, pattern interrupt, as they say in hypnosis and NLP, pattern interrupt, hit the reset button, break the cycle. You stop eating for three days. For most people, their symptoms will begin to resolve. Now, three days is not a long time if you've been toxing out for decades and people get Parkinson's in their 50s and 60s and 70s usually usually their 60s or 70s so if three days of not eating isn't going to resolve 60 years of eating the wrong stuff which is the case for many of us but you'll begin to notice that you're feeling a little bit better if you can fast for a week that's even better if you can fast for 40 days that's better but for most of us two or three days do a swear of V cleanse then you would start writing keeping notes recording everything you eat and how you feel and you'll notice that certain foods make you feel worse they make your they make your movement disorders worse or they give you digestive problems or if you have other symptoms they make those flare up and then those are foods you need to eliminate it's i, I know i say this probably three times a day two or three times a day i'm sorry to keep repeating myself but this is the simplicity of it, it there's not a lot of stuff you need to do the second piece of the puzzle is supporting digestive health Pro, and I'm not going to repeat everything we just talked about because I don't want to bore you guys, but you know the drill. Probiotics, fermented food, vegetable smoothies, uh, uh, you can use something called glutamine, zinc, essential fats. These are all very, very important for the digestive system. Then the next piece of the puzzle is, is putting things in that are rebuilding kinds of supplements, and that's number one, your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Number two, a good source of protein. Chicken soup is the best for a food protein because it's liquid. Uh, you can use bone broth protein that you can get off brightsidehealth.com. You can use whey protein if you can tolerate it. Uh, the, uh, the next piece of the puzzle, stabilize the blood sugar. Hypo, that is low blood sugar, hypoglycemia will make things worse. They'll trigger a stress response that will exacerbate degeneration and inflammation. And high blood sugar can cause a breakdown of tissue, especially brain tissue. In fact, we know uh, Alzheimer's disease is now called type 3 diabetes. You can probably add Parkinson's disease to the list as well. So stabilizing blood sugar, using Sweeties, using the, all the B-complex, especially niacin and thiamine. I would be getting vitamin B12 shots. Using glutamine, uh, anything that can help the body build glutathione. I saw a great YouTube a few years ago, and I haven't been able to find it again, but it was a really cool YouTube where they had a guy with Parkinson's disease, and they, they were videoing him. And then uh, he had the typical little the strange Parkinson's walk. And then they gave him intravenous glutathione, which is a very powerful immune booster and anti-inflammatory and overall health substance that's made by the liver. They gave him an intravenous injection of glutathione. They videoed him again. And all of a sudden, this guy's walking completely normally. 
Now, I'm not telling you that glutathione is a magic cure, but I am telling you that by supporting the body's defensive system with glutathione, you can go a long way towards improving all degenerative health conditions, especially including the ones that involve the brain. Other nutrients for the brain that have specific relevance, omega-3 fatty acids, the mineral zinc, 50 milligrams a day, zinc picolinate, vitamin E, 400 international units a day, um, vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day, Let's see what else I could tell you for brain health. There's probably a ton more. Um, you probably, it, it probably wouldn't hurt you to get on a, a vitamin C supplement in addition to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine that you're getting from the Healthy Start Pack. And also selenium, the mineral selenium activates your glutathione. MSM sulfur, that's another one that might be helpful. All right, I got to motivate, Jim. I hope I gave you some inspiration there. Nobody has to deal with these hey. kinds of health challenges. Yeah. Is that good? God bless you, man. God bless you, my friend. Take care, brother. Okay, let's go to Pam in Arizona. I've been holding forever. Pam, thank you so much for your patience. What's going on? Hi there. Thank you. would like to know if you could lead us to a good source for bulk GABA powder. Ah, bulk GABA powder. You can go to a company. There's an internet company called, I think it's called bulkpowders.com. Uh, you can get bulk GABA there. Uh, if you Google, you can get you can get GABA powder. I don't know what you mean by bulk, but you can get like five, uh, a thousand milligrams a kilo or so, or half a kilo, which isn't you know technically it's not huge bulk, but I guess you call it bulk. You can get that from Amazon. Uh, N O W now makes a, a GABA powder, uh, but you can search Amazon to get uh, a, a GABA powder. What are you using it for? What are you using it for? That would be for my uh, dear husband who has epilepsy. Okay, that's on, good. On the, also try some pregnenolone, too. But GABA's a good idea. Uh, pregnenolone I would try also, 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams a day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, Pam. I want to get a couple more calls. Is that okay? Anything else you want to ask? Uh, um, that's cool. Thank you uh, for all you do. Thank you, Pam. Have a great day. Okay, Steve in Florida, you get the last word. What's up, brother? Hey, Ben. I want to thank you for your program, and I try to invite everyone I can to your program. I'm in Florida where there's just uh, literally like millions of sick people. We have I drug know. Stores in every, uh, drug stores on every corner. Isn't it crazy? Oh. Literally, like a Starbucks in Florida. There's... Yeah, like you can't, you can't make it up. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Really but what it is, is um, I came down with hemorrhoids, and I was, afraid, I was thinking about going to get them cut out, but I was afraid the doctor might think my testicles were the hemorrhoids. <laughs> because All right, I wouldn't let him cut me down there anywhere close either. Yeah. Here's the deal. Hemorrhoids are, are a sign that the blood is not moving correctly through the venous system, the veins. They're varicose veins of the, of the hemorrhoidal tissue, basically. It's a distended vein. It means that the circulation's not working, and it has to do with a couple of things. Number one, if you've got, if you got constipation and you're pushing, that can be a problem. Number two, if you have any kind of liver health issues, that can be a problem. And number three, if you have any cardiovascular issues in general, particularly heart health issues that's keeping the blood from circulating, that can be a problem. There's a lot more, Steve, that I can, you can do one of two things because we're just got, we're out of time. Send an email to Ben at KSCO.com. Put your phone number there. I'll call you or call us back on Monday. I apologize. We're just out of time. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.